Yo. Why is it only recognizing your face? Cause that highlight. But what about blanket. my highlight? Come on, my highlight though. It's not. Look, it's really not recognizing my face. It only has that square. That highlight bling though. You know what? Well, let me test something out. Yeah. See if you know. If you ask about me now. <laughs> Yo, this is a struggle. Look. Now it's on my face. I only put highlight on one side though. Get the, get that decollete on, on a point. Make sure it's popping. Fix the hair. I'm fine. That's my struggle all the time. That's probably like in my videos that happen. The and hair? I hair. Yeah. Wait. Sit up a little bit. I'm, I look really awkwardly large. Or, or go a little closer to the camera. I'm serious though, because I'm up here and you're like, how would you like to film like this, Amanda? You'd be like, I don't care if you're comfortable. Well, bitch, then. Anyway, you got an eyelash on your forehead. Are you? And check her out down below. Stay still, I'm gonna brush it off right with this. Oh my god. Got it. How is that an eyelash? I don't know, it was a long eyelash though. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a guest for today's video. This is Amanda. Hi guys. We did a couple of tags on this channel together and she's also on my vlog channel, so I'm gonna have her information down below. But what we're doing for today's video is our monthly favorites. So we yes. narrowed it down to five. We both picked five to mention on this channel. And then over on Amanda's channel, we're gonna continue the video and you guys are gonna see the second five selections, if that makes sense. English sense. Well, the, the rest of the... The rest of the favorites. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to jump into it because we both tend to talk a lot. And again, we wanted to stick to five products each. So we're going to jump into the first one and we both actually have the same favorite. I mean, great minds stick alike for sure. This is life. This was the first one on my list and I didn't... I had no idea that she owned it. Yeah. So. Or that it was going to be a favorite for right, today's right. video. Yeah. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam. Now here's the thing. Both of us are warm toned and you would think that we would like warmer toned highlights. I normally do, so I didn't think that the cool tone highlight was gonna like catch my eye at all. Honestly, you guys, I saw this on a hundred different YouTube videos and it really didn't catch my attention. Mine either. Until I saw it in person. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys really quick. I was telling Amanda because she likes to use mostly the top two. Yeah. I like all of them. Even though these are darker, when you swatch them, look, they swatch pretty light. So I'm gonna show you guys, hopefully the camera will focus. I'm, I'm obsessed. Like this, uh, this bling that I have going on, I owe it all to that yes. palette. Same here. We both have this highlight on today. And I, I, like I said in another video, I think in a Sephora haul, I wish I could put this like all over my face. That's how Seriously. beautiful it I'm, is. I'm not getting even front. I thought this was just another overhyped product because you guys all know that YouTube and Instagram now sucks you into yeah. purchasing these products that you see everywhere. And then, you know, most of the times I get a little disappointed when it comes to certain yeah. things. Like it's hyped up. Yeah, so, I, you know, I just was in Sephora on a whim and I was like, all right, let me swatch. And I was like, Yo. this is better <laughs> than butter. Yeah. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. The quality is so good. It's really, really shimmery. Like it's that wet kind of highlight. It yeah. makes your cheek looks your cheeks look wet. I apply it wet. Anyway. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, when like I spritz your brush, right? No. What I do is once I'm done with my makeup, I'll spritz my face with my setting spray and then I'll apply it wet. Oh, snap! Let me try that next. And time. it lasts yeah. long. Oh, I love this stuff. It's worth it. It's worth the hype. It's a first favorite for both of us. Yeah. And now we can move on to the second. Yes. yes. All right. Um, yes. Then, oh, okay, mine is obviously a different one now. Yes. <laughs> I'm over here expecting to talk about the same thing. You go ahead and tell them your, your second This favorite. is beat up. <sighs> All right. That shows that you love it, that yes. you used it. So, um, my next favorite for the month is a contour palette. And we all know that contouring and highlighting seems to be all the rave now. Yeah. Um, this one has been pretty talked about a, um, a lot. It's by LA Colors. And the best thing about this is that it's only $6.99. If you guys don't believe me, I got the price right there. I don't know if they're gonna... <laughs> it's focused on our face, so you gotta hold it like back. Right. And know. then I'm gonna get all up in your grill. It's a $6.99. Wow. Where did you pick that up at? All right. So, um, if you're from New York City, you know those beauty supply stores in the hood? That's where. Yes, yeah, so this was at the checkout, and I figured, okay, let me try it out. And this thing is so pigmented. Like, I have it on today. Yeah, and your contour is popping. <laughs> I have it on today. The only downfall I have to say is that it's a bit powdery. 
So you want to be mindful of, for that. Yeah, you can swatch it. Oh wow, there's a lot of like that yellow. Have you put this yellow underneath your eyes? Yes, I, I use it to clean up my contour sometimes. I would focus. Yeah, we're focused. Look at that. That's nice. $6.99. Yeah. That looks like the Anastasia contour palette. Yes, and it comes in a darker shade. So if you have medium to dark skin tone, they also have one for you ladies out there that are a little bit, um, um, you know, more brown. <laughs> <laughs> a brown biscuit. Brown biscuit. As our girl Lizzie would say, brown biscuit. Yeah, brown biscuit. <laughs> but um, yeah, the only downfall I have to say about it is that it's a bit powdery, but for $6.99, you really can't go wrong. I normally, when I do my makeup, I'm not dressed, so it's not really that big of a deal for me. So. And you like the highlight as much as the contour shade? Um, to be honest, my most used shade on in this palette is probably this middle one here, because it's the coolest tone. And then I'll mix these two to like set under my eye and yeah. clean up my contour. Oh my I'm not the biggest fan of the shimmer um, shade in it, but it's pretty okay. Hey, $6.99, you can't go wrong. I, I'm telling you. I pay you, that for one of the little yo, inserts in there. I'm <laughs> telling you, this is so good. It's so, so pigmented. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it, and it's under $10. And I'm sure for those of you that don't live in New York, that's available online. And speaking of, um, a lot of you guys have been asking me lately to link the things down below because I have a tendency, like, I'm very notorious for not linking I things. I always link things. I'm trying really hard to find everything that I talk about and link about them, so I will put them everything her favorites my favorites down below i'm gonna make her do it yes i promise you guys <laughs> okay. they'll all be down there and on your video too i always link everything down below okay good so yeah. you're good so my next it's actually not a favorite this is something that i tried out i wanted to kind of do i feel like we just spoke about lizzie lizzie does whoops and womps in her favorite videos i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna show you guys a womp something that i tried out that i had very high hopes for that i actually ended up not liking at all and they're only samples, so I'm not mad. I didn't pick up the whole thing. And I actually got these at a random Dwayne Reed. They had like a whole basket and it said free samples. So these are by Tresemme. And basically what it is is a conditioner and shampoo that you're supposed to use as a system. And it's supposed to be for people that have really limp, flat hair. You guys know that I complain about that all the time. So basically what you're supposed to do is use the conditioner first. And then you're supposed to go ahead and shampoo over it. And I guess... If you use it that way, the conditioner is not supposed to weigh down your hair. It's supposed to give you more volume. So I got a whole bunch of samples of it. I was with my sister Melanie. She got a whole bunch of samples of it and I didn't even end up liking it. So she didn't like it either. I don't either. know. You want to give it a try or else it's going to go in the mean, garbage. I can try she it out. She didn't like it either. I can try it out. I have pretty thick hair and um, this is not something that you don't really need volume. Is, a, is a concern for me but I always give things a try chance so I'm gonna try it out and we're gonna see what she's talking about. Yeah about I didn't really like it but if you guys click over on Amanda's video I am going to include <laughs> a favorite shampoo and conditioner for this uh, month so if you want to see what I do like this month as far as shampoo and conditioner check out her video but for now next favorite. Yes <laughs> yes yes <laughs> all right so my next favorite is oh Ooh, this... I don't want to watch I want to be surprised okay so my next favorite oh by the way all of my favorites are all drugstore oh. or affordable okay well the only one that was high end was the the first one the okay. the glow kit so yeah my next favorite it's by Mix and it is their all over balm. Well, that's what it says, and this is in the argan oil. They also have another one in a coconut oil type of um, formula. This one smells like cotton candy. Seriously, you're gonna like this. I, I have an obsession with cotton candy. Smell it. Though. It smells just mm. like cotton candy. Wait, but what is this? It's an all-over bomb. So the reason why I purchased this, um, I do have a part. Um, not part-time. <laughs> I do have a full-time job. So. Um, I don't wear makeup at all, like at all. This doesn't happen when I'm at work, <laughs> but I need, 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 need lip balm and chapstick because yeah. I'm talking a lot all day at work. So, um, gotta I, stay hydrated. Yes, yes. So one day I was at work and I didn't have any of that. So I just ran to my local Walgreens right across the street from my job and I saw this. And I was like, uh, okay, whatever, I'll try it. Because it was like the first thing I was on break. Yeah. And I tried it out and I put it on my lips. Oh my God, it feels like 
oil on my lips. I can't explain it. So you use it only on your lips? You I use, use it, it on, all over. I use it on my lips. I don't use this on my face or anything. I do also use it on my cuticles. I use it like when I need lotion, like on my hands or my elbows because I'm light skin y'all but I still get ashy. We were just talking about that. Yes. We both, we still get really ashy. It's so important to moisturize. Yes. Whether you're light skin, dark skin, medium uh, skin, it doesn't matter. I love this. Yo, is you're gonna need to pick me up one of those. Okay, so my next favorite is gonna be random as heck <laughs> because I never thought that I would show like towels as a monthly favorite. But I, I say this all the time, I'm a big nerd. I Google everything and my hair was really going through a stage where it was like frizzy and just not looking its best. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's like the how rough I am with the towels that I use because I wash my hair almost every single day. So I actually did a little bit of research and they said it's better to use a t-shirt, which Amanda That's does, what I do. to dry your hair or microfiber. So I was like, I need microfiber everything. So I went out and I got these little turbans. This is from Marshalls. It came with a pack of two for like $4 really cheap but I don't know I'm weird I don't really like this I like a big towel to dry my hair and basically the reason that this is so much better is one it dries your hair a lot faster and two it's not supposed to damage your hair the way that a regular cotton towel would so I've been obsessed with these lately and not to mention that since my hair is so dark black every single time that I wash it my black hair dye goes on all of my towels so I have like my designated towels now I have a bunch of these and these it's okay if I get like black hair dye on them and I also like that they're not damaging my hair and that my hair dries a little bit faster when I use them I got these at Marshall's and I picked up the towel on Amazon for like five bucks I like the way they feel yeah and they really do dry your hair a lot faster I feel like microfiber has so many um, different uses they're very versatile yeah, don't people use this to, to dry their cars after they wash them um, I use it to clean so. like I this could, would be good to clean I with could, too. I could do a whole cleaning routine because I'm such a knee freak, no, but I love using microfiber cloth. Damn, our video is 14 minutes? What, what happened? happened? What happened? Wait, how many more favorites do you have? I have two more for this okay. video. Damn, we talk a lot, Amanda. I don't know. I didn't I didn't think I talked that much, but... It's I, me. It's me. Alright, um, my next favorite is a skincare product. I know I said that I wasn't going to mention anything else that was high-end. Yeah. I didn't realize. <laughs> but this one I don't really consider too high-end. This is by Clinique. I consider Clinique kind of like mid-range in the Sephora. It's not too expensive. Oh, they have Clinique at Sephora? Yeah, you didn't know oh, that. not at the one by me. I have to go to Macy's to get Clinique. Really? Yeah. Well, um, this I picked up at Sephora. Um, I was in desperate need of an eye cream because my under eyes are always dry, they're always creasing, it really messes up my concealer. So yeah. I decided to go with this. I used to use this back in the day. This is the All About Eyes Eye Cream. That's all it, it what? I've heard about that before. All it, About Eyes. Yeah, but they have different formulas. This one's in the Rich. It's very thick. It's not thick in the sticky type of way. It's thick in the way that it's very like soothing. It's very moisturizing. I just love it. It really helps with my puffiness as well do you use it under makeup in the morning or just at night I use it oh. um, a.m. and p.m. I probably would recommend using it p.m. more so you don't have to slather this on in the morning yeah but um, I've been really liking it um, as far as anti-aging benefits and all that stuff I don't really know to about determined. that <laughs> to, to be determined but I feel like it does what it claims to do and it's really good at moisturizing so that's that clinic so sorry I kicked you you kicked the shit out of me <laughs> okay you guys so I know that you're probably getting sick of me talking about teas on my channel I know that I did mention the jasmine green tea as a favorite recently in like my set my two or three monthly favorites ago but I have a new thing that I have been mixing into my jasmine green tea and I just had to tell you guys about it I don't know if you guys have heard about matcha powder or if you've ever ordered a green tea latte from Starbucks, but basically it's made with a green powder. This is what the packaging, oh, let me show you the actual packaging. That's what it is. It's a powder, and I don't like this alone. You are supposed to use this alone instead of a tea bag. See, I'm inclined screen. to smell it. Like, I really want to smell it. I don't it. know if you're gonna like this smell. It smells very like, herbally. It's actually a green powder, and I like to mix this into my green tea. It just makes it taste I don't know if you're a green tea drinker or a tea drinker you know that taste that I'm talking about it kind of is like um, more of like a herbally strong green tea taste but again I mix it with the with the tea bags on top of it 
I just happen to be a big fan of matcha drinks. So you made me want to try tea. I'll like, make some for you after this video. Okay. I drink a lot of green tea. My like, sister is the same way. She's obsessed with tea. I love it. And a lot of people make fun of me. They tell me that I'm like a little old granny. It's good for you. And I'm telling you guys, this is not like the fit tea or this is not something I'm being sponsored for or something that every single girl on Instagram is holding up. <laughs> like, you know those tea, detox teas? Girl. No. This is something I picked up. I put cream in it, I put sugar, it's like not healthy but it's a favorite because I like it and it tastes good. And I picked it up at World Market which is inside of Bed Bath & Beyond. I just found that out. Like it's a new market, like a food area Did that they opened up. Now? Yeah, in Bed Bath & Beyond. Where have I been living? Like, I gotta I take you there, that. I gotta take you there. So my next favorite are brushes. Mm -hmm. Let me, cause I have them tied up. You know I had to bring my favorites all They're the way so here. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Yo, you're like, let me get my life. <laughs> Girl, get your life. Alright. Oh my Yo, god. Yo, you are a mess. You I a mess, to bring All of them so people know that I really love them. Yo, so oh um, my so nice. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom zoom up on these babies. Some of them are dirty too. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah. So they're by Wet n Wild. Yes. So my next favorite. Yeah. Oh, Girl, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to like zoom us back out and I'm zooming in. Go ahead. Okay. So my next favorite, um, I, this is probably one of my favorite products that I'm mentioning right now. It, they're by Wet n Wild. So pretty. Um, they're, they, I think these are their new brushes in their new collection. I want to see one. I am so obsessed. They're so Yum. soft. Um, I think what I love most about, let me just put this whole... Girl, let me you this. wouldn't you would not think that wet n wild would make such soft brushes dude This is dude. like the morphe brushes that I have Mac brushes How much were these did they come as a set? No, they didn't come in this set. They're sold individually um, But the good <gasps> thing is what and you bought all of them girl, but you want to know what my total was what under $30 Wow, and you got everything. I've been wanting a fan brush. Yo, they don't have these at my Rite Aid though. I got them, them online because I was oh. so thirsty to get all of them. Yo, I, I want them. I'm gonna place an order. I have no complaints whatsoever, and the best part is, is that they are all under five dollars wow. each. Wow. I think the face brushes are like no more than two ninety nine. No, they need Literally. to put them in stores. Literally, they do have them in stores. I haven't already. seen them. They now do. you're gonna make me go on a hunt like we did for the Milani. Uh, what was it? Liquid lipstick. You know what's crazy? She was wearing a Milani liquid lipstick and I was like, we are going on a hunt. We went to like four different places. <laughs> now you're gonna make me hunt for you that. You know what's crazy? I feel like Milani never put them in stores because I still... I it, never came across them. I still can't I never find them, but... Them. So that's not in this monthly mm -hmm. favorite. But I'll show you guys my last favorite. Um, I like to always show you guys my favorite pick from Fabletics. I did take the tag off, but I didn't want to wear it before I showed it to you guys. So let me try to get it on... Ten. Yo, really? <laughs> Did you hear that? He's hungry? No, he's just grunting because he's like, can you guys finish? <laughs> Thanks, Chuchi. Now you cost me more editing. <laughs> I was like, what was Whoa, I thought it was your stomach at first. <laughs> <laughs> That's him grunting like, mm, these bitches talk too much. Who cares? <laughs> He's 12 years old, he's a grumpy dog. Oh, he opened his eyes wide. Oh, All right, and now I'm gonna show you guys my last favorite, which is just my monthly pick from Fabletics. So this is what the top looks like here. You guys know that Fabletics is like really big on athletic clothing and workout clothes, but I'm I not would, gonna lie. I would wear that out. Yeah, I, I like a lot that. of their clothing to wear out or even to go to sleep. Like the stuff that's not as fancy, I actually wear to just go to sleep. I'm wearing workout pants on the bottom right now. And a lot of times when I film, it's always like, I pretty much live in workout clothes and hardly work out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but that's why I love Fabletics. And then I also, I don't know if this is new, if they started carrying like fancy going out clothing, but this dress, I cannot wait I like to wear that. this out. Because oh the material God. though, let me see this if I can show cute. you guys. This is what the, the top looks like. It's like a sweetheart neckline. It's very structured. Then it goes in at the waist. It's kind of like a long <laughs> skirt, but then look at the back, guys. I'm obsessed. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it's a very like thick material. Like you know that it's gonna suck in what needs to be sucked oh in God, and push so out what needs to be pushed cute. out. It's like a workout material dress. I can't wait to wear this out. I just need a place to wear it, but yeah wanted to show it to you guys so that's that's that okay and now we're just gonna outro 
wow, why do I feel like that was not five items? It was. Wow. Okay, so now we gotta let the camera refocus us. Wow, we filmed for 25 minutes. Damn. <laughs> so that is everything that we are going to show on my channel. I can't believe that I only showed five favorites and you only showed I know, five I felt, favorites. I felt empty inside. It's like a 25 minute video. We talked about everything for mad long, but we have 10 more products to tell you guys about. So go ahead over onto Amanda's channel to see yes. the rest of this. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. I'll see you guys in the video. Yeah, we'll see below. you guys over there. <laughs> you better come follow us over there. We'll see you guys in like two seconds. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs>